Okay, hi, Ria. You're looking good. I'm not feeling good, Chino. Oh, really? What's the matter, baby? I'm mad. Oh, that's too bad. What is it? Pete Jennings laying hard times on you? You know, I could never figure, like, why you got married to Pete. Yeah, well, that's not all you didn't figure, Chino. I mean, I, I was kind of broken up, you know, when I heard that you were hitching up with Petey Boy. You know, because I, uh, I always thought that maybe you and I could get, uh, get it together, you know? But I was going to wait till you grew up. And look what you did behind my back. You grew up. So I didn't come here to talk about me, okay? Well, uh, what'd you come here for? I saw you in the alley back of Shenanigans today. So? Big deal. Cruise that way a lot. Yeah, cruising for action, huh? Hey, what are you talking about? Listen, you got something to say, you say it. You snatched a person back in that alley today, and I want it back. I didn't snatch anything. What did you get out of here? Who do you think you're talking to? Some dumb kid who doesn't know what's going on? Hey, you, Come on. You don't know what's going on. If you know what's good for you, will just get out of here. No, you listen to me right now. I grew up with the Vipers, remember? Don't try to con me, Chino. You snatched a person, I want it back. What's this purse to you, anyway? You stole it from a friend of mine. That's what it is to me. And if you don't give it back to me now, I'll have the cops down your back so fast you won't know what hits you. I'm waiting, Chino. Give me the purse. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't give me that. I saw you running out of Shenanigans Alley. I don't care what you saw. Well, you better care, because I'm only going to give you another 10 seconds. Oh, you? Yeah? Then what are you going to do? Look, my husband is waiting for me at Shenanigans right now. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, give him the hard luck story, no, too? No, I'm not going to bother PJ with this. He has a lot more to do than deal with some punk who goes around mugging girls. Now, listen, you better give me that purse back, or you can start running, because I'll have the cops jumping down your back. You wouldn't do that to a viper. Your husband's a viper. Was yeah, a viper. PJ was a viper, but he's not anymore. He got smart. Your time is up. I'm going to the cops. Wait a second. Wait a second. Listen. Me. Listen. I didn't know the chick was your girlfriend, okay? I wouldn't have taken a purse if I knew. Whether or not you knew doesn't matter. You shouldn't have taken it. Why don't you get smart and get straight? Give me the purse. Here. And the money that was in it. There was no money in it. Now you got the purse. Get out of here. I'm not leaving you without the money. I can't see you anyway. I... It's the money or the cops now. <sighs> okay. Okay. Boy, what a hard nose you became. Thank you. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Speed told me all about the uh, job that you want done tonight. All right, where is Speed, just by the way? Speed's at home working on his alibi. And just what do you mean? Hey, the dude is really sick. I mean, he can't even get out of bed. That is, until his sister leaves for the opening. I see, then he climbs out of bed and goes to shenanigans, is that it? You got it. And what about you? What is your alibi? Who, me? I'm going to be a jump. I'm going to make sure a lot of people see me. Just make sure a lot of people do see you. That's very important. Yeah, yeah, listen, listen. Don't worry, me and Speed know how to handle things, okay? Well, just as long as you handle it without hurting anyone, then everything will be all right. Hey, listen, I already told you. We know what we're doing, all right? You want to place trash, we trash it. Why don't you guys relax? We got an awful lot more to lose you than you do, pal. Hey, look, if you don't trust me to do this thing, I don't uh, no, hang on. No, 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 that's not it at all. You see, we have things moving at a precise pace. Do you understand? You don't want me to go overboard, is that it? Well, that's exactly right. You see, yeah. we want these people to be aware of the danger of their area little by little, you see? Incidents that happen that seem unrelated at first, and then those same incidents happen more frequently. Also, they get a little bit more serious. Uh, soon these people are eager to sell at any price, and we're going to find it in our hearts to buy, you understand? Yeah. I think I get the picture, okay? Okay, not good. Now, listen to me. Chino something real clear. You don't want to mention one word to anybody about our plan. Not one word. Got that? You'd be very sorry, I promise you. Chino, what are you doing Keep here? Keep your shirt on, Ivor. I just came here to give you the money. The money? Yeah, the money. The money that Speed borrowed to get me out of jail. Here. Borrowed? 
Pacino, Speed ripped this money off from PJ's wallet. Now look, don't get all excited, all right? I already had that speech with Pete, okay? Now, you got the money, right? Yeah, but how did you get it if you needed this for Speed's bail? Don't worry about that. Me and Speedy took care of it, okay? Why did you do it to her in the first place? I thought I told you I was going to call the cops if I found out you were responsible for all the vandalism in this neighborhood. Are you crazy? I was just having a good time with that rich chick's car, that's all. Why? Why? What did she ever do to you? Are you kidding me? I did that for you, Ivy. You did it for me? Yeah. Yeah, I was doing you a favor. I mean, she's been trying to get your old man away from you for a long time, huh? Chino, you had no right to do that. Oh, come on, you hate her guts and you know it. I was doing you a favor. Get out, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Just want you to get out I'm of going, here. But don't tell me that you're not glad I trashed that chick's car, because I wouldn't believe that in a million years. Go!